you say some popcorn? I haven't had popcorn okay. since. Give in, don't fight, good girl. Good night. Sleep tight, in NYC. Center folks have gotten sort of accustomed to the sound of Joseph's milk wagon galumping along through the early morning. <laughs> this morning, though, the progress of the wagon has been just a little bit erratic, because today Joseph has a guest with him aboard the wagon, and the two have stopped frequently along the way to talk. The other passenger, of course, is Miss Ann Morrison. No, not Miss Ann Morrison. Exciting photographer who's come to do a series of pictures on America's typical town. Good afternoon, and Miss Hannigan. Miss Farrell, you're early. Only one week. What's the matter? Warbucks fed up with Annie already? Oh no, on the contrary. Mr. Warbucks is delighted with Annie. Annie's having the time of her life. How nice. Yes, she and Mr. Warbucks are practically inseparable. They go everywhere together, to the Roxy, to the Stock Exchange. And oh, guess where they had lunch yesterday? The Waldorf. The Automat. The Automat. A and she just loves her new coat. She never takes it off. Never? Never. Miss Hannigan, I know you're very busy, but this doc... This, this document needs to be signed and sent back to Mr. Donatelli at the Board of Orphans by no later than 10 o'clock tomorrow morning. What for? Because Mr. Warbucks is so taken with Annie that, guess what? What? He wants to adopt her. So let me get this straight. Annie is going to be Warbucks' kid. The daughter of a millionaire? Oh, no, no, no. The daughter of a billionaire. <gasps> a billionaire? And Mr. Warbucks has asked me to come here in person to tell you that Annie won't be coming back here ever. Ever? My, 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 my. Would you please excuse me for a moment? Please. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Got any more wonderful news? I told you about the coat, didn't I? Oh, you told me about the coat. <laughs> well then, good day, Miss Hannigan. Yeah, good day. 
and Merry Christmas. Yeah, Merry Christmas. Oops, pardon me, doll face. <laughs> Hiya, sis, long time no see. Rooster! Oh, God, it never rains, but it pours. So, they finally let you out of Sing Sing? I got six months off of good behavior. Yeah? What was he in for this time? Da, some old geezer from Yonka said I swindled him out of 1100 bucks. Oh, yeah, why'd he say that? Well, because the rooster swindled him out of 1100 bucks. Aw, oh, Lil. It's true. Sis, I'd like you to meet a friend of mine from, uh... Jersey City. Jersey City. Miss Lily St. Regis. I'm named after the hotel. Which floor? <laughs> Don't you just love Lily, sis? Yeah. I'm nuts about her. Rooster, do me a favor. Anything. Get out of here and take the St. Regis with ya. Oh, come on, sis. Looking for another handout, huh? Nah, I got... 80 bucks coming in the mail, Thursday. So all I need is 10 to tide me over. Nuh-uh! Rooster, not even a nickel for the subway. A fiver, Aggie. I gotta laugh! Five dollars, you with all your big talk. Gonna be living in clover. This ain't exactly Buckingham Palace. Oh yeah? I'm on the city. Steady salary, free food, free gas and electric. I'm doing all right. Sis, you're doing like I'm doing. Lousy. Oh, Aggie, how'd the two Hannigan kids ever end up like this on the skids? I remember the way our sainted mother would sit and croon us her lullaby. Ships and kids, there's a place that's you gotta get there before you die. You don't get there by playing from the rule book. Nah, -uh, you stack the aces. You load the dice. Mother dear, oh, we know you're down there listening. How can we follow your sweet advice to Easy Street, Easy Street, where you sleep till noon? Yeah, 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 yeah. She repeats. Streets. Better get there soon. So, who's the dolly I bumped into when I come in? Looked like she had a couple of dollars. She works for all the war box. The all the war box. The millionaire. No, the billionaire. You dumb hoe. Tell. She works up in his mansion on Fifth Avenue. Fifth Avenue. He don't live on Fifth Avenue. He don't. Where does he? <gasps> He's a street. He's a street. And the rich folks play where they play, play all day. Move them feet, move them out of to Easy Street. When you get there, say Easy Street, Easy Street. Oh, shut it. So, Aggie, what did the dame want? Brought me the wonderful news that Annie, one of the orphans from here, Annie. Oh, God, I hate that kid. He's getting adopted by Warbucks. She's gonna have everything. The rotten kid is gonna have everything. Oh, that crummy orphan living in the lap of luxury. It ain't fair. Nah, 
It ain't fair. It ain't fair how we scrounge for three or four bucks while she gets war bucks. That little brat. It ain't fair this here life is driving me nuts while we get peanuts. She's living fat. Maybe she holds the key, that little lady. To getting more bucks instead of less. Maybe we fix the game with something shady. Where does that put us? Oh, tell us. Give you one guess. Yes. Easy Street. Yes, yes, yes. Mr. President, I will grant you that Barney Baruch and I are not exactly standing on bread lines yet. No, I'm not asking for your help. I've never asked for any man's help and I never will. But I'm telling you that you've got to do something and do it damn fast. All right, I'll talk to you about it on? Friday. All right, Friday at the White House. Goodbye, Mr. Listen, Mr. President. Why don't we bury the hatchet and you come over here for supper on your way to Hyde Park on Christmas Eve? Good, I'm delighted. Goodbye, Mr. President. I thought he was gonna say yes, I never would have asked him. Grace, call Smith to find out what Democrats eat. Yes, sir. The package from Tiffany's? Yes, sir. Arrived this morning, sir. Good. I'm gonna give this thing to her and tell her I want to adopt her. Where is Annie? She's upstairs in her room, sir writing another letter to her friends at the orphanage. I'll have Drake call her. Good. Damn. You don't have to be nervous, sir. She's going to be the happiest little girl in the world. Damn right she is. And I'm not nervous. And get her down here. Yes, sir. Life's overflowing Why should I change a thing? Love how it's going Got the world on that string Why disturb the peace? Why not let things be? Why risk getting close? Close. Just isn't me. I'd say I'm happy. Why am I tempting fate? Who needs more happy? Anyway, it's too late. Who needs the clatter that a little girl would bring? 
change a blessing. What do I know about children? Except they usually come small. They read, but not the Wall Street Journal. They write with crayons on the wall. Does one at breakfast with them often? Take them to movies and to schools. Why don't you get some clear instructions? Like when you buy a set of tools. What do I know about children? Can they just possibly be fun? I think the thing that's most disturbing. I don't remember being one. Why should I change a thing? Got the world on that string. Why disturb the peace? Why not let things be? Why risk getting close when close just isn't me? Not a thing stays the same. Now when I send Christmas cards at a name It's a mistake to take her underneath my wing Why change the mailbox? Redo the bedrooms Undo vacations Learn to love cornflakes Why change a blessing thing? Hello! Hello, Annie. How are you today? Fine, sir. How are you? Fine. 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 Annie, the time has come for the two of us to have a very serious...